Hello guys, uh, Jamros community. I have here with me a Mercedes Vito. Uh, it's 2018 and we have an airbag issue. Uh, it's my friend's car. I, he had asked me to take it for MOT. So definitely I'm going to check it for him uh, and see if I can, if I can help him get this one fixed. Right. So that's, that's the issue here. We will plug the diagnostic machine and show you what the code is for this problem. Right, guys. Um, let me go through the uh, the screen here. This is the right hand. So we got system selection. It's the body, and you go to SIS which is supplementary restraint system and you go OK uh, and then we go to read the code there is our code B000211 the squeeb for the driver airbag stage 2 has a malfunction there is an open, sorry, there is a short circuit to ground. So that is in the driver's squib. And it tells us here that the code is current and it is stored. And the other thing that, just to confirm, uh, this is the MOT certificate. And that's what happened a big warning lamp indicator fault everything else is fine with this car as you can see it passed everything but it did not pass on the airbag side so this is we'll have to i'll have to rebook this uh, for david um, and then try and help him fix it too and then put it through um, so what I want us here to do is uh, I want you gentlemen want to make this thing sort of like you know so that we all come together and and as a community and give each other ideas I know there are some of the guys that are in Mercedes um, that I know um, so I want you guys to contribute on the comment section tell us what do you think is wrong here where do we start these two questions where do we start the diagnosis where, where would you start you guys in the dealership when you have a problem like this what do you do okay and what is it exactly? Because it's saying uh, the squib for the driver airbag. Uh, what does that mean? Where do we find that squib for the driver's airbag? So these are so sounds simple to you guys who, who do these things to to me and you. We do these things every day, but there are other people who drive these cars. They don't fix them. They may want to have the knowledge of right what was fixed by the mechanic on their car you know so that you know they can check as well to make sure that what was paid what they paid was correct or what they are going to pay you know is fair because sometimes you know some people are extortionate um so dev is not going to be charged anyway okay so that's the job that i have on my hands uh, at the moment I'm not doing it today um, I will do it some other time but I just wanted to come to you and ask you to say you know what what would you do in this case because it is uh, let me just go here and see if I can find uh, something here uh, da -da 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 -da. Ignition, ignition. Let me just see. 
if we can see something here can message voltage uh, 14.7 voltage at circuit 15 it's 14.7 uh, voltage at circuit 3 or G is 14.59 yeah. yeah you see like that you know the current message is actually 14 volts uh, you, you usually you know current is 5 volts so that's why I always say you know to people utilize live data it is important you know to utilize live data can usually it's just five volts so these are the things that you want to try and understand you know uh, get to understand what it means yeah so I'm um, I think I'm I'm happy with what I've seen here and I'm now formulating a strategy as to where I'm going to start uh, and then you know I'm waiting for you guys to contribute you know, I've been giving out videos, giving out videos, but I was just thinking, you know, that why not send something and let the guys as well contribute to the fixing of the vehicle so that I'm not the only one, you know, who keeps on saying, yeah, this is how I fix it. You know, let's try and fix this problem together. Is it not nice when we can come together and, you know, and have this sorted as a, as a family, as a Jamro's family? So if you know something, if you have ever worked on a veto i don't care whether it's a veto uh, or any mercedes benz you know uh let us know please let us know come uh let's help one another maybe some people want to see the badge you know to to believe that yeah he's talking about a mercedes benz yeah there is the badge for you um to you some of the level three guys um, I know that you work in these dealerships. I'm not going to mention you by name here on this platform. I know that you work in, 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 in the dealership. Um, Brighton, Mr. Mtonodza, where do we start? Tell us where do we start. Guys in Australia, uh, guys from the Red, uh, Red Seal, tell us where to start. This is for you too. Hey, gentlemen from Zimbabwe. You know, where would you start when this happens? And um, the guys in the UK, let's come together, guys, as a family and uh, see what we can do for this video. Uh, I'll be happy to receive your contributions and your comments. Uh, as usual, you know that I'm always pleased. You know, I always come, try to come back to you guys in time and, um, you know, and respond to your questions. Uh, while it's, um, I'm here, if someone asked me, uh, they were testing a boost pressure sensor and they asked me a question about the, that they disconnected the signal wire on both sides and and they, they checked for continuity, there was continuity, but when they checked voltage, they got zero. I suspect that that wire is, is shorted. So what I'm saying to you is disconnect it on both sides, take your meter, select resistance, Take one side of the meter and put it on one side of the, of the wire and then take the other probe and put it on a good ground. If you get OL or one, you are fine. Uh, you, there's no shot to ground. If you, go, if you get uh, a reading, then you know that there is a shot to ground. But if, if you don't get both, if there's no short and also uh, I would urge you to connect the, the wire to the ECU and then on the ECU end and check again for voltage if you don't have voltage coming sorry sorry let me correct myself the voltage is not coming from the ECU the voltage is coming from the sensor mind you so if there is no voltage on the signal wire from the sensor they need to be a sensor that is um, that is wrong right I'll leave it at that note I hope you will enjoy this video uh, thank you very much